What's up, Summoners? Solar and I can only back for another daily and commentary. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late today on the commentary. Uh, just doing a lot of stuff today. I'm actually <clears throat> going back to Massachusetts for about the next week. I'm leaving tomorrow night, and I'll be getting back the following Thursday. But um, I'm planning on recording a bunch of commentaries tonight and uh, tomorrow during the day. So I'll, be, I'll still be uploading one every day. Uh, this one was just later, and I'm uploading this one later in the day because I was, you know, packing and getting ready and everything today. So, I finally have some free time. Look at this guy. There's a, there's a Dr. Mundo in here. Mundo is there by himself. <laughs> In here, here. Did he go all the way around? This guy's a god. He's here. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Chase the Mundo! Do we have enough damage? He has barrier. Oh my god. Lee Sin has to land this Q. Ah, oh, he missed. Okay. Dang. Freaking Mundo, man. I think Nidalee screwed everything up. If she didn't spear and she waited for me to get in this bush, I could have just stunned Mundo and then we would have killed him. Because Mundo stunned out here is dead. But at least we got barrier out of him. So, no barrier. But, yeah. That was really dumb. There's no reason for him to check this bush. Like, I could have simply just walked here and stunned him. By throwing the spear, Mundo left when I was still here. So, now I'm just chasing Mundo. I was thinking about flashing here, but I don't know. I probably actually should have flashed, because he didn't have flash. That was something I should have realized. I was worried about him flashing away after I flashed, but that wouldn't have made any sense. Lee Sin should have, kill should have uh, still killed him, but he just missed his Q, so... I mean, it's really not much that's going to happen in this lane. The Mundo lane's pretty... I don't know. It's kind of lame. Because I can't really do much to him, and he doesn't do like anything to me. It's all about not getting hit by cleavers, though. Oops. So Lee Sin can gank for me. I don't actually know if we'll be able to kill the guy. Cause there's like no way I, I should die to Mundo though, because he doesn't he has teleport and he has a uh, barrier. So as long as like the only way I can die to Mundo effectively is if I like bait myself. So, I'll get some good trades in when I'm there. Oh, really? Alright, so Lee Sin's here. Kinda just... Alright, that was bad. I'm turning around. We're not gonna kill the guy. Lee Sin just goes in randomly. Like, I have no dash. How am I supposed to get to him? I don't have level 3. Now he's just like dying to this guy. I can fight them because they're in my minion loot. Oh, what the fuck? That was a lot of damage I did not expect to happen. Uh, I just wanted to hit level 3 and then I was going to kill one of them, but they kind of denied me. Alright. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. They're already leaving. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> So now that all that retardation is done, I ordered that just to make sure this guy wasn't sitting in that bush. Okay, so does this guy like waste all of his health for no reason? Uh, I'm just gonna keep farming. I have to spam out my Q. Looks like Lee Sin's coming around. This will actually work this time. JK. Dude, this Lee Sin's gank suck. Oh man, what are you doing, buddy? What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? <laughs> like, I don't understand what. Can you stop ganking my lane? Just go somewhere else. My god. He has no idea what he's doing, and he's missed every single cue ever. 
He needs to just stop and go gank a different lane. And I just realized this whole time I've been talking into my mic that's at the top of my head. So hopefully that came in okay. Just realized that, moving it down now. But yeah, Lee Sin should not be ganking for me. I don't need him to gank for me. He should be ganking other lanes. Like mid lane. Or anything else. Because his ganks are not working at all. And they're really bad. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He just like randomly ran. I don't even know, man. We're on like two different pages, I think. And there's no reason for him to run back there. Like the first time. Like it was obvious Sejuani was going to be in the area. She wasn't anywhere else on the map. Like she wasn't ganking any other lanes. So she was either here or she was farming. Oh, really? So he's got one more health pot. Force that out of him in a second here. I'm gonna try and go in and get a combo on him after he uses his cleaver to get this minion. JK. I don't want to miss that minion. That minion, I was gonna miss a cannon minion just to get some harass that was likely to be healed up anyways. So there's no point in doing that. Got a little bit of a graphical bug going on on my screen. Don't know if it's getting picked up for you guys. Oh, come on. I can really only kill this guy with Ignite. Uh, what's the CS looking like? 35 to... 33. Uh, not very good. want to keep harassing him. I'm pretty strong right now. Alright, now he's ultimate. Actually, that's kind of good for me that he just had to pop his ult right away. Uh, I'll, have a, I'll have my Ignite up in a minute. So he's going to ward something right now. Oh my god, that's really frustrating. I hate when the minions just randomly walk away for no reason. They just like wander off to a different minion. I don't want to use my second E, so I'm going to hold that. I don't want to waste my fury. Get a nice auto Q trade. So it's Ronnie's bottom, so I can do whatever I want. There's really no way they can hurt me. Oh my god, I missed the cannon minion. I didn't factor in my E. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. That screwed up all my minions too. And I used it for fury because I... Oh god, that was really bad. Welcome to the first game of the day, baby. Oh, man. I want to all in him with my Ignite. I think I'll have time before his ultimate's back up. I'm not sure, though. I don't know how long his early game ult cooldown is. I know it's over a minute. I'm pretty sure it's over a minute. I'm just going to reset the wave. And try to get my ward down. I don't know where the jungler is right now, but it's probably likely that, that he's at his blue buff. Okay, so he just popped his ult, so I can probably kill him when it wears off with Ignite. Alright. Yeah, he's actually bottom lane still. Okay. So I just straight up win trades. Alright, mid's missing. I want to be a little bit careful, but I know Sejuani is still bot lane, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can keep being aggressive. Alright, yeah, he went to get blue buff. Okay. So I can get really aggressive here. I really want to just dive this guy with Ignite. I'm pretty sure I just kill him. I want to Q here to build up my rage. I want to get 100 rage and then try and dive him under tower with Ignite. So I want to save up my Fury pool here. Oh, fuck. That's not good. I don't know if I can do it now. Oh shit, I forgot all about barrier. That's right. Uh, I can probably kill him in a second. Yeah, I think I can go kill him right now. Oh my god, what's the cooldown on that? That's really frustrating. Damn. Well, I should make use of my rage and get some harass on him at least. Huh. Yeah, I didn't even fa I didn't factor in the fact that he had ulti or that he had barrier. Yeah, damn it. 
Uh, all right. Well, I want to just shove right here. So I'm pretty certain I forced him into backing. If he stays, I can probably just kill him on your tower right now. Oh, he has teleport. That's right. So I want to back right now. Actually, I kind of want to stay and wait for my sunfire cape. Yeah, because if I come back to lane, what the hell? Huh. I don't know why I did that. But if I come back to lane with a sunfire cape, I'll be in a very good position. I I, I don't know why I got a jungle item. That's really weird to me. Like, I don't know, does he want to, like, push faster? I don't even, I have no idea. I think it's just he wants to shove the way it out. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I dodged all of his cleavers there, so I pretty much demolished him in that trade. Forced out his ultimate again, and now I can, uh... I gotta be careful here. I'm actually kind of weak right now. Because I can't actually all in him. Because I'm pretty sure you can just run away from my all in. So I, I want to just back right now. But I'm, I think he's just going to shove the wave into my tower. I'm pretty sure I'll get tower damage too if I just leave. Okay, I'm just going to leave. We'll see if it'll work. I don't have enough for my boots, which kind of sucks. Ooh, can I wait for them to finish dragging though? I can. Cool. I'm going to wait for them so I can get my boots. Alright, uh, boots. I'll go two health pots as well. Alright, so I don't know where he went. He, like, wandered off somewhere. He might have thrown a ward down or something. Like a deep ward. So he ends up missing, like, three of the minions, which is good for me. Because I missed three of the minions as well. I mean, I'm going to miss the other three, probably. But maybe not if he keeps shoving the wave. Yeah, I'm going to miss one. Okay, so I only missed one extra minion than him. Yeah, but now I'm like god mode right now. Like, he can't do anything against me. Like, I have Sunfire Cape right now. I'm not afraid of shit. Until he gets a Sunfire Cape, there's no way he can stand. Like, even after he gets a Sunfire Cape, he can't fight with me. But, like, right now, there's no way he can stand next to me. Because I'll just, I'll beat him in the trade. Like, I do more damage than he does anyways. But then when you factor in the fact that I have a Sunfire Cape and he doesn't yet. I mean, I'm just so far ahead of him at that point. That's why I really don't understand why I wasted 700 gold on this. Because that means he would have been so close. Like, he would have just had to come farm one wave, two waves, and then he could have gone back and got a Sunfire Cape. Now he, like, puts me in an advantage in the lane. So I, can just, I just keep walking. I'm out of range of his Cleaver right now. Yeah, see? Okay. Alright, so we got some good damage out on him right there. I'm gonna let my Fury pull up, and then I'm gonna try and all in him under tower. He's gonna have barrier, huh? I don't know if I could actually do this. He's gonna have barrier and ultimate. Hmm. Oh, my Sunfire. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can dive him. So this is ultimate. Like, I had Ignite, but he's just gonna pop barrier. Like, this guy's specifically going for, like, pure tank, retard, annoying mo Mundo. Like, he's not going to, like, do anything to me. Like, there's no way I could ever die to this guy. Like, ever. Like, even with the gank right now, I don't even think he could kill me. Like, he actually does do good damage. Like, that's a lie. And he's out CSing me. Because he keeps running back and he has teleport. He keeps running back and doing his double golems. And he has teleport, so... Hmm. Oh, I'm actually in a lot of trouble. I have flash, but I think I just die here. Alright, never mind. Uh, I might have baited long enough that my team can kill. We have four guys up here. So I got the ignite off on him. That helped uh, secure that kill right there, along with the Q. You can look to just take this tower. That's interesting. He just like blew all his shit on me. And there's no way he's gonna kill me. Oh, nice shot! The Nidalee Spear combined with the Mal's uh, Silence. I have my ultimate, so I'm fine. Yo, can, can you back off so I can... Please? 
Like, I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to lifesteal you. We can just kill this guy. Uh, maybe not. He's pretty fast. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm kind of mad that they sh shoved this wave. It's kind of annoying. I know they wanted to do, they just wanted to back, but if they didn't shove this wave, I could have easily healed up off this wave and then gone, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay. Who cares? Um, let's see here. So we're actually doing good on this game. Yeah, Malzar is like super fed. Uh, I want to get some magic resist now, because a lot of Mundo's damage is, well, pretty much all of Mundo's damage is really uh, magical. Like, obviously his auto attacks and shit are physical, but his W is all magic damage, his Q is all magic damage. Um, I think they can take this tower before I get there. Actually, maybe not. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to take it. I have Nidalee support up here, so... Yeah, but there's nothing I can do. I'm just too slow. Like, Nid, Nid was in the area, but... There wasn't really much that was going to happen off of that. Alright, grab up those CS. I'm going to start rotating. I'm going to ward this. Let's see if we can't go mid. I'm gonna try and sneak up behind this guy. This is like one of the spots is probably warded, so this is actually a bad idea, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna accomplish anything here. Alright, this ward just spotted me out. You can just try and siege up mid. Can't siege. No. Let go. We have Caitlyn in Italy with a Malzahar that's fed. Like, there's no reason we shouldn't just be sieging right now. Uh, they're going behind. They're looking to catch out bot lane. Oh yeah, I got that guy. Oh! God damn, dude! <laughs> I just saw that dude, I was fucking scared, man. Alright. Sedge no ult. So Sedge is no ult, so... We can probably like to get aggressive here. God, I hate Sunfire so much. Every time I walk up to try and like, get some harass off on him. Alright, so we forced out his ultimate there, that's pretty good. And he just missed that ward. <laughs> okay, so we can like... Oh uh, yeah, we should just go do dragon right now. The gate for a siege. If Kate groups up with us for the siege, we can do it pretty easily. We should just go bottom after this. Go bot. No ult, Sedge. Making sure my team knows that Joanny doesn't have ult. Because if she doesn't have ult, they can't really engage on us that effectively. Oh, this guy is screwed. Uh, I can't get him. Just take Tyler. He's too far away. What are we doing, take Tyler? Oh, we're getting blue buff, okay. That's fine. Secure up that blue buff, take Tyler. I don't know what that guy is just doing. He's just, like trying to back in the lane. Alright, nice. So we got a tower and a dragon off of that. And we grabbed, what, two kills? One kill? One kill? Yeah, one kill. Yeah, one kill, one kill. We didn't kill Sedge Warner. Alright, I'm gonna shove out mid. Top's already pushing. You can go mid. They got a top. Go mid. Uh, I actually don't think we can do anything right now. Like this is a, this is really a good opportunity for us to push mid lane, but I'm not. I don't think we can actually do anything. Yeah, see, we had a ginormous wave up top, so that means someone has to come clear that. But just the timing didn't work out well. Like we were backing, so no one was able to really capitalize on that. I'm gonna grab a couple wards here and even a pink ward. I think pink wards are. I think you should always try and grab a pink ward somewhere around like the 15 minute mark or so. Like once lane phase breaks down, you should just grab a pink ward and like throw it in a good spot. Like I like this spot. 
or even like this isn't that great but i think this one's pretty good uh oh i have to stay here because he has teleport so he might try to make a play or something okay looks like my team's backing out leeson's gonna head back to base now siege mid with lee i come all right, so I want them all to group up mid. I'm just gonna shove out top tower while Lee Sin gets back to lane, and then I'm gonna group uh, group up with my team, and we should be able to pressure mid. Okay, I'm coming. All right, we got. Oh my god! <laughs> that was great. He like dashed behind the dude, but it didn't even matter. Just get let us get some a little bit more damage on it so we can take it faster. We can keep pressing. There's not a Mundo here yet, so they don't really have a good answer for this. He needs to be careful though. We don't want to get halted. Ah, uh, that's really bad. Tower, tower, tower. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good job. I don't even have to be up to hitting it. I can just let. Uh, I just have to be a presence. This Caitlyn's gonna hit it. I just have to be here. Alright, so I'm gonna, I have to peel from my back line, because this guy is like huge. I saw that chance for a kill right there, finish that off. Got one, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this guy. No, I won't be able to. Okay. So Mundo is still alive, this guy is so tanky. Uh, we can push. Can we end the game? I don't think so. But we can clear out all the waves from all the lanes to get all the lanes pushing. I don't think we actually got top lane, though. Uh, focus on this one. Focus on this one. All we have to do is... I think we can actually end the game right now. Can we end? Oh my god, we're going to be able to end. Ah, oh, no! Just keep hitting it. No! They stopped hitting it. You're just killing minions. I should have just left. Okay, whatever. I should have just backed away. That's fine. Um, yeah, so that was really good for us. We just kept getting kills off of that. We forced objectives. Like, that's really... Honestly, I think the best way to win in this game is just taking control of your team and just, like, telling them what to do. Like, obviously, my team... That's not to say that my team doesn't know what to do and they weren't going to do the right thing anyways. But just telling them to, like, go to here, go there, okay, uh, group mid after lease and backs, like, stuff like that. If, when you're active with your team, you're, you're probably more likely to win. So that's just a little bit of how, like, explain to your team, like, how to force. That, that game is probably really good at showing how to group and do objectives and how to force, like, proper fights and things and uh, objectives when people are on the wrong side of the map. Like, when we grouped for that mid tower, I shoved up top wave, so Mundo had to come top, right? And then they had Sejuani clearing out bot that was already pushed up. So it was like the perfect time for us to group mid and force a tower. Because even if they came right away, they were going to be later than us. And we would have had the opportunity to take the tower before Mundo and uh, Sejuani could even get there to back them up. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that game. This was a quick one. And like I said, I will be on vacation for the next week. But I will still have a daily commentary up for you guys. So don't worry about that. Uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow. Peace.